Hello friends, welcome to USMLE team. Today I'm going to talk about meningococcal vaccination. This is an important topic for a discussion. As usual, before starting this conversation, I would request you to subscribe to our channel that is all on non law and please please do not forget to tell your friends about our channel through Facebook, email or Twitter account because we need your subscriptions. Your subscription will help us, will give us a support and love that we need from you. If you have any suggestions, please do tell us. Let me start with this meningococcal vaccination. Routinely, it is done at the age of 11 years and above. Okay. So meningococcal vaccination administer two doses of meningococcal conjugate vaccine cordovalin that is MCV4 at least two months apart to adults with a functional asplenia or, or persistent complement component deficiencies. So two important points you should remember for meningococcal vaccination is functional or anatomic asplenia or persistent complement component deficiency. These are very important. HIV infected person who are vaccinated also should receive two doses. Administer or a single dose administer a single dose of meningococcal vaccine to microbiologists routinely exposed to isolates the Neisseria meningitis, military recruits and the persons who travel to or live in countries in which meningococcal disease is hyperendemic or epidemic. First year college students up through age 21 years who are living in residence hall should be vaccinated if they have not received a dose on or after their 16th birthday. MCV4 is preferred for adults with any of the preceding indication who are aged 55 years and younger. Meningococcal polysaccharide vaccine that is MPSV4 is preferred for adult aged 56 years and older. Revaccination with MCV4 every 5 years is recommended for adult previously vaccinated with MCV4 or MPSV4 who remain at increased risk of infection. For example, adults with anatomic or a functional asplenia or persistent complement component deficiency. So from this what we learned, we learned two important points. The indication for meningococcal meningite, meningococcal vaccination is one is asplenia and second is a complement deficiency. Recently we uploaded a video on a complement deficiency disorders. There's a beautiful table type complement deficiencies by MRCPCHT or you log on to um, all or none law in YouTube channel and then go to the MRCPCH uh, part 1 uh, immunology there you can find this table this is a very beautiful table and you need to know and you need and you should know for your USMLE examination till then take care and thank you for being patient and watching my video